What's up, everybody? It's Nashville T. And C. We are on our way to our marriage ministry dinner for Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> so we're going to just drop by for a few minutes. You know we can let Valentine's Day go by and not say anything to you people. So we're going to talk about the five love languages. You guys know about the five love languages? I sure hope so. Tell them about it, babe. Well, I'm going to just tell you real quick. There are five key ingredients. The very first one is acts of service. Acts of service. What that means is, baby, what you need me to do for you? I need you to put some gas in my car. How about I wash the dishes? Oh, that works too. Or do you want me to help you cook? You can do that too. How about all of them? <laughs> okay, okay. One day only. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, till I'll give you two. Your birthday. There we go. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. So we got acts of service. The second one we have is gifts. Ooh, my favorite. Yeah. I didn't bring my gift, but I got a heart. A little pink and diamond heart for Valentine's Day. And I got some chocolates. Yes. What you give for Valentine's Day? I can't tell the people. Oh, yeah. He got unmentionables. <laughs> <laughs> gifts. So the second one is gifts. The third one is quality time. Mm, that's my favorite right there. Where you going? When you coming back? When you going to spend time with me? Let's go. Let's stay. Hold my hand. Sit on the couch. <laughs> uh, now, let, me, let me just say this. Quality time. It's not just what women want. Men do want quality time, too. They do. They, they do. Huh. In their spare time. Oh, spare, <laughs> spare slash quality time. <laughs> okay, but no, you, you do have some men out there that prefer quality time. Like when Martin was like, I just want to see if you want to go to the zoo. If you don't zoom, don't... <laughs> Y'all remember yeah, that? Yeah. They probably don't. They don't, they don't be knowing this. I know, I know. But okay, so that's three. The next one is words of affirmation. Mm, I like those too. And so give you a couple examples. <laughs> scared um, me. Honey, you look nice today. Thank you. You look good too, boy. Baby, your eyes are shining uh, like diamonds. Okay. Scrumptious. Um. Another one is, hey, babe, I appreciate you washing my clothes. Oh, anytime, babe. I uh, got you. You know, you just always want to acknowledge the person. Just give them some gratitude. That's right. About what it is that they've done for you. Okay? We good on that? We good on that. And the last one is my favorite. And it is affection. <laughs> Physical touch. Yes. Physical touch and affection. You know, um. <laughs> you always want to make sure you are letting the other person know that you appreciate them. Yes. Um, and physical touch can be on the back, it could be holding hands. You know, just somebody, sometimes um, some people just really like that touch. They like that. Me on, I'd be like, scoot over. I was only child, though, so, you know. And see me, I'd be like, get over here. And I'd be like, stop, scoot over. Just, it's too hot for all of this. This is it right here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. But I want to let y'all know this. Those are the five love languages. But the key to being successful is speaking the other person's love language. That's right. So... Even though I like affection, I have to make sure I'm giving off what she needs to appreciate me loving her. That's right. So, if her love language is gifts or word, let's say words of affirmation. If your love language is words of affirmation and I keep bringing you flowers and filling up your car, it means nothing. Exactly. To that person because you're doing stuff 
but it ain't they kind of stuff. Right. So you might be speaking your love language to someone else when you have to speak their love language. Yes. Because that's where the frustration comes in. Because you feel like you're showing love. Because this is how you want to receive love. But they're frustrated because you're not speaking their correct language. And so that's where that barrier is. So you have to make sure you're speaking the correct love language for each other. So know what your love language is. That way you can communicate that and you're able to get your needs met. Yeah. And we are at our destination. So we're going to be out. Happy Valentine's Day to all the lovers. This is like my favorite time of the year because I love, love. Love, 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 love. lifted me. That's all I'm Love, doing. okay. That's all they get. We out. <laughs>